Hi viewers, this is uh, Vignesh Nathan. I'm an applications engineer with Keysight Technologies. And in this video, I'm going to show you the uh, automotive uh, testing solutions that we have on our S-series oscilloscopes. So um, many, of, many of you might be already aware that we have automotive testing solutions. And I, uh, we have some videos out there that show you uh, what type of solutions we have. For, for example, we have the Broad R Reach or Ethernet for automotive uh, compliance applications, uh, which you can run on a 1 gigahertz S-series oscilloscope. And uh, over here, you can see Alex Bayliss is performing a, a quick video demonstration on that compliance app. And then we also have uh, some videos for the benchtop embedded oscilloscopes, like the uh, 3000X InfiniVision series scopes. And Johnny Hancock shows you how to uh, set up the CAN bus protocol decode on that scope. We also have the MOST compliance app. Uh, this you can run on the S series. Uh, and Joe Woodward has a video available for you to see. So I'm not going to uh, touch those applications because there's already videos out there. Uh, here I'm going to show you how the protocol decode for this automotive uh, signals look like on an S-series oscilloscope. So the easiest way uh, to do it is to go to the demo with it. And I'm going to show you flex ray uh, protocol decode first. So when I load it, uh, you will be able to see a saved uh, flex ray waveform. Now you can you can control it just like you do a live waveform in terms of zooming in and out. So let me zoom in on a packet here. Okay, so I'm pretty zoomed in on a packet. What you see on the scope is a uh, the protocol decode right below the analog waveform, so you can do good correlation analysis. You have a lister here that uh, looks through the packet and and decodes all the rele uh, relevant information out for you. Um, this blue line here corresponds to the, this blue line on the waveform. So if I move this uh, from packet to packet, you would see uh, another. You would see this change uh, in the lister, but I find that just clicking on the interested packet is the better way of uh, navigating your waveform. So every time I double click on the line in the lister, the waveform jumps to that. And the waveform view jumps to that packet. So as you can see here with the S-series and this new uh, Infinium interface, you get lots of flexibility. Um, you can enlarge or minimize your viewer. Um, you can uh, change the display so that you show the windows in different tabs. And when you do this, you can move this to an external monitor. So that will help you uh, look through the list while looking at a waveform and managing all this information much more easily. Uh, if you look inside uh, the, the details of the packet, we provide you lots of information. Um, and you can see it shows you whether it's decimal value or hex value. For flexory, I heard that it's kind of confusing. Um, you can just look at the payload. You can just look at the header. It gives you a nice graphical picture on what you can do. You can also do once you've captured uh, the waveform, you can do a search on it. So if you uh, here I've opened the trigger setup uh, menu. So right now it's set to search uh, for protocol flexory. So the search is software based, it's not hardware. So once you've captured it using a normal edge trigger, you can perform a search. 
to find a particular error in a packet that you often see or to find some sort of data frame. Um, this is how you would do it. So you go to error, maybe um, bad header CRC, and uh, So when I press this navigation here, it, it found that packet. So that's why this term read. So that's how you'd use the search to look through your protocol decode and finding something specific. So now uh, let me default the scope. And show you a, another automotive decode. But I'll just show you uh, real quickly because for the most part, um, these automotive decodes will look very much similar. So if I load the CAN DBC, uh, DBC means a symbolic decoding. So you can attach the DBC file and the, the scope relates the DBC file to a particular address of the packet and it will show you the the messages and uh, this human readable information right away. So as you can see, it looks very similar to that last uh, decode. Now let's do a default setup again. And then I'm going to bring up the, uh, the final uh, view, which is the, I mean the final protocol decode, which is the LIN. So you can uh, show as many as four different protocol decodes on the S series. So here you can, we are showing two, CAN at the bottom, LIN at the top. Uh, you have your list for the CAN and the list for LIN. And like I said, you can split this into windows so that it doesn't appear so cluttered. And you can transfer this to a different screen, for example. Alright, thank you for watching. I, I'm going to put the links to the videos that I showed earlier um, under this video. And if you have any questions, please call our technical support center. Thanks.